Oh, it's felt like Friday all week, I think. But it's finally Friday, and now I don't know what day it is. <sighs> it's hot. I think I took my hair up, even though I've got the air conditioning on. Probably I'll cool down eventually. It's already 327 degrees, 9 o'clock in the morning. It's gone for, I think, 34 today. So I've already put the air conditioning on because it's already very warm. <laughs> and I've been already done my outside jobs already. So. so I'll take care of them before it gets hot. So I think it'll be another swim day this afternoon when Kevin gets home from work because the pool should be maybe even too warm. But we'll see. I think I have my breakfast now. Got a few pottery kind of jobs to do. Well, I'm afraid I am struggling this morning. I don't, I've been done some jigsaw, I've done that a bit. And I don't know, after new watching YouTube, I have just been like looking at different things online. I haven't bought anything, I've just been looking. <laughs> anyway, I don't know, I've just been in a, so a lot of time looking at Etsy stuff and lots of stuff I'd like to buy one day, some for gifts, some for myself, and I've just, I haven't bought anything as I said, I just put it in my little list of favourites. Maybe one day I'll buy some stuff, who knows. Um, nothing's like urgent or anything to buy, so put everything off, but yeah, just spent time looking at stuff. So I'm struggling. I'm just watching um, Kristen. What's her channel name? Kristen's Chaotic Life. I quite, I do quite enjoy her videos from time to time. And I've just been watching, and she's having a, a bad day. And I thought, oh, I should do what I used to do, and it like on the hour, just go and do a job then, because that way I can at least get, I don't know, five or so jobs done. I guess in the day, I've got a whole little, and I've got some little sit down jobs. So it shouldn't be a big deal. So that's what I'm going to do. It's five to eleven now. Five o'clock. No, five o'clock. I wish at 11 o'clock I will um I'll probably do my medication first because that's sort of the most critical thing to refill my meds for the week I'll do that and then I'll just yeah and so what else have I got to do the ironing I should do I should really try and do some ironing today but I don't know how warm it is in the laundry I'm cool sitting here we always have this problem with the air conditioning so I could do like a minimalism sweep of the kitchen. I haven't done any zone work for like three weeks or something now. Um, ironing. Uh, I want to film an empties video. I don't know if I can do that because Christy's in that room, but I might be able to do that. Go and sit down job. Uh, I still need to do blog the pasta, pumpkin pasta recipe. I can do that sitting down. Your YouTube intro sitting down. So a lot of things, and I want to oil my bamboo stuff in the kitchen so i've got heaps i can do sitting down so it doesn't it's not like it's going to involve even energy i'm just not feeling motivated i think i've had a few not the best and i don't feel 100 percent, but i can still do especially sit down jobs i should have to do them so let's do that at 11 o'clock i'll get up i'm going to do the medication to start with I might try and pick another job because it's quite a simple easy one may i'll try and do my, all my bamboo stuff because that would, again i can do that at the kitchen table so all right that's what i'm going to do at 11 o'clock then at 12 o'clock I'll pick a different job and do some more things.
Look what I'm working on. Typed it all out. Yeah, just got to go through it again, make sure it all makes sense. Finally got that done. And the puppy that I just having a little um, snack of some carrots. Carrot sticks. <laughs> Guys, want another one? Another one, Kino? You have to come over and get it. Oh my gosh. I'm holding the camera with that hand. Do another one too, Rosie. <laughs> Rose. Bailey's outside so he doesn't get any. I'm having some too. I don't have many high horse topics, I don't think. I probably do. But anyway, I don't bring too many, perhaps, contribute. So anyway, I'm going to have a little talk about something that might be a little bit controversial in Australia or even around the world. I was just having a flick suit through Twitter and see that, I think it's today or it could have been yesterday, was the last day of the Uluru climb, that you could climb it. And I just don't get why people are still climbing it. It's... And I, they're all you know, trying to like rush and get the last climb. We didn't clear out Uluru in 2008, so 11 years ago, and we chose not to climb it because the Aboriginals, who are the traditional owners of the land, do not want it climbed. It gets damaged. People hurt themselves. People have died. So there's lots of reasons not to climb it, and I don't get why people are still trying to climb it. Obviously. Can't do it anymore, which is good. But it, to me, it's just, it's disrespectful. That's why we chose not to do it because the Aboriginals don't want us to do it. And plus I don't like the idea that we're gonna damage it. If you wanna climb something, go and climb the Harbour Bridge. We did that climb, that was fabulous. <laughs> um, <laughs> there are places, you know, you could do the ring walk, rim walk at, Grand Can at Kings Canyon. We did that when we were out there. And things to, we walked around the base of Uluru, which took hours. <laughs> And that was our achievement there. And we took a helicopter flight near it as well. You can't go straight over it, but you go up near it. So we did lots of things without climbing it. Anyway, I'll hop off my high horse now. <laughs> and I'm sorry if I offended anyone with that, but yeah, that's just something I do feel, I do have a strong opinion on. <laughs> and I'm glad that it's finally been stopped. <laughs> I mean, little kids have died doing that climb. It's just lots of reasons it shouldn't have been allowed to be done. The boards came out really good. I'm really happy with them on the cutlery. Obviously the if I'd done that more regularly it probably would have been better like to maintain. But even that board which is kind of probably the most bleached looking board of them came out good. Not quite new but pretty close. So I'm just making lunch. I'll show you I'm having a sandwich. And I'm just going to have a little bit of salad because I've got a bit of salad left from the week, so I'll have that as well. And there's my lunch, all finished off. So it's one of those, the beetroot burger. <laughs> Can't wait, it's the last of those. And some vegan mayonnaise and vegan cheese and a bit of lettuce. But it's not the freshest, but I think it'll be okay. This little boy, he's so cute after he's grooming. He's not too happy though, because the Goldens are next door visiting and it's too much to have all of them, so. <laughs> and, well, they're the mum's favourite. <laughs> so, they've gone over. It's nice for them to have a little outing too. The Goodles get more playtime. Oh, he's so soft. He's been clipped really quite short. I think it's the shortest he's been, but I mean, it makes sense in the summer when he's going to be swimming and whatnot. He's so soft though. He feels like a sheep, a little sheep. A little lamb with his wool coat. It looks so much smaller though. This one's starting to more, more like the wee beastie again. <laughs> but it's like another, at least another month away from getting a clip, maybe two months, hopefully. But we'll just have to see how it goes. At least in a month though. And it's working on another video editing. Not quite sure when this became a normal thing, but I didn't kind of even notice him sitting there for a bit. Even though it's on my shoulder, he does it so much that it's just like, I don't even notice it. He's a funny dog, he's got a ball in his mouth as well. <laughs> he's a strange one.
little bit of rain. You can see out there on the tiles it's wet, but it's um, gone away again. <laughs> the sun is back out. But I feel like I've had a bit of a productive afternoon. I edited another vlog. I've got that recipe up as you saw. So I will link that recipe below. So if you're after the pumpkin pasta recipe, I'll link it below. And obviously, I won't be probably making it again before I go away. So it's, yeah, but I always link, try and always link recipes. I want to do my meal prep session, so. Um, but that's on my blog now. As I said, I'll link it below as well. I was going to say something else. Totally forgot what it was now. Hmm. Recipe blog. Oh, yeah. Um, I did was going to do a new intro or add some bits in, swap it out a little bit. And it's a bit of a fiddly process to do it. So I thought, and I thought, I might as well wait until after we come back from our trip and then I'll probably have some other little bits I can put in. So I'll, um, I'll do it in the new year <laughs> rather than now. Um, so, yeah, what's I going to do? I I've got some watermelon to have. I think I'm going to get everything chopped for dinner so it's kind of ready to go. So I don't have to worry about that. And then I might go finish my jigsaw puzzle because I'm up to the sky section now. So I might do that and maybe watch some YouTube while I'm doing that. I don't know. I'm behind on YouTube again. Just, I don't know. I haven't, even this morning, I haven't felt like watching it first thing in the morning. I don't know why. Just been doing other stuff. <laughs> Never enough time for everything, but that's okay. Um, it's a luxury, <laughs> not a necessity. Um, so yeah, and I've got a bowl of watermelon and rock melon to have. So we'll have that. So we're doing really good with our food. I'm just going to open this blind up because there is no more sun coming through there. I should turn the aircon off, but I might have to put it back on again. I put it on and off downstairs because it gets really cold in that lounge room where I was sitting. Oh, I know there's something else I was going to ask you guys. I've got a big basket. Put it through here, ready to go. I've got another bag of empties. But I don't know. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> I'm not really sure how many people really care about my empty products. So I'll ask you guys <laughs> if you want me to film an empties video. Um, and if you do, I will film it next week and get it edited and put up. But um, uh, last time, I don't think there was that many views. And I don't care. I don't mind doing it. One, one of you wants to me to watch to edit it. If one of you want me to film it, I will film it. <laughs> so, but if no one wants me to film it of my regular viewers here, there isn't much point because <laughs> they're going to fit the one to edit because you've got a lot of chopping bits out. Um, so, oh, my arm. so I get to have the um, ultrasound on my arm on Wednesday, thank goodness. I hope you can fix it. <laughs> so, so I can forget and it's just at a certain position and just, just pain, quite painful. It doesn't last obviously because as soon as I move my, oh, as soon as I move my arm, move, move my arm out of position, it's fine. So we're having, um, it's called Rips Sweet Potato Bowl. I don't know. It's basically sweet potato. I'm going to chop it up and cook it in the air fryer. Some mango, black beans, which already defrosted earlier in the week, so they're ready to go. What else goes in it? I'm sure, there's something else in it. Let me have a look. There is a, a, a dressing for it, but we usually, I think, tend to use oh, mayonnaise. I can let this on below. Oh, red pepper. Or um, capsicum. Oh, an avocado. Yeah, and then they have balsamic vinegar. We're not fans of balsamic vinegar and lime juice, so I think we should just put a bit of mayonnaise with it, or Kevin might put something else with it. He's got a chipotle mayonnaise, he might want that. Doesn't need a lot because you've got the, the um, mangoes quite juicy. But yeah, no, I'm gonna. Mm, yeah, I think I'll get the things chopped up so it's all ready because otherwise I know me and I'm not gonna want to do it in an hour or so. And then I'll, um, I'm gonna go pop the air conditioning back on though because it is. It's, so much warmer in this room than the other room. Uh, I don't know why. I think it's because these rooms have got the windows and they get all the heat. Whereas the other room, it's got one. Well, this lounge room, as you know, has got only the one window over there. It's got a bit of a sun coming through at the moment, but that's the only sun it gets all day. 
and only gets that sun in the summer or the warmer months. I'll pop the aircon back on. Might as well show you my puzzle while I'm over here. So there you go. I've just got white sky to do. Have fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm still enjoying doing my puzzles. I don't know what it is about them. I kind of think it's kind of a bit of a waste of time, but it doesn't matter. It's relaxing. <laughs> so it's okay. Um, and I never got any work on my photo book done this week. That might be a good activity to do over the weekend because I could do that. Um, like we're sitting there with Kevin and do that while he's on his computer or whatever he's doing. So it's on my list. I think that's even on my list of things to do. We were going to try and get in the garage tomorrow, but it's supposed to be hot again tomorrow. So <laughs> it probably won't happen because no one really wants to do the garage. And we've got the emergency clean done and the rest will probably have to wait until um, six months time when the weather cools down. Unless we're having to get a really cool day. We just were quite busy, like, um, we're really quite busy for us. We don't usually have hardly anything on, but we've got a show on tomorrow. We are pack in the afternoon and we'll get groceries after that. Nothing on Sunday. And then next weekend, possibly going to go away again. Then, I don't know, just, time's going. I think we've got another show on. We've got a few... I'm going to show three shows. Yeah, we're going to show and go to Curious, which is a set of the shows in Sydney. And then I bought tickets for another amateur musical down here as well. So I've still got a few things to go and see. But we re we've really, really enjoyed that this year, going to see the shows. It's really, for Kevin, who always, want, like, always wanted to do something on the weekend, he's never asking me now, what are we going to do this weekend? Because we've had so much on. You know, every weekend there's been something on and that's why he just likes to have achieved like done something on the weekend rather than spend the whole weekend at home which you guys know I'm happy to do. So it's been good like just that one little outing out of the house a few hours seen a show, seen a musical. He's happy. Actually I've changed my mind. I've got everything out. That'll do. Because <laughs> I've just got to chop things, put that in the air fryer, throw it in a bowl. So with the black beans and some mayonnaise so I will do that later on because I don't know how the mangoes go being cut up too early so we'll leave it and I'll chop everything up for dinner did you just bring me a ball <laughs> good boy he looks so different with his little clip ready go oh Nearly caught. It's a good bouncy one, that one, isn't it, Coda? Not quite sure when this became a normal thing, but I didn't kind of even notice him sitting there for a bit. I mean, that was on my shoulder. He does it so much that it's just like I don't even notice it. He's a funny dog. He's got a ball in his mouth as well. <laughs> He's a strange one. Well, Kevin just arrived home and I've kind of put stuff away that came. Got an order from Howard Storage where I got a new ironing mat and got a bread bin. Uh, so that when we bring home food, food, when we bring home bread, we can stick it in here. It just kind of fits under there. I think it'll be alright. I guess we'll try it and see. That means like rolls or if we get bread without um, plastic, which you try and do, or I try and do anyway. We can put it straight into there. If it works, I'll get another one. I just wanted to see how it went first. And then I also got these bins. They're a dollar each. I've been wanting to try something here like with square things because the circle round ones take up a lot of space. But I'll probably need another one. Or it, maybe it works. I don't know. Anyway, I might try it. And if not, I can put all these round bowls back. It's not working quite like I thought it might. I actually want something slightly bigger and not as high, but you probably need that size, I guess. Anyway, I'll leave that for now. Like I've got a rock melon. Well, you can probably go in the back one. 
Problem is you can't see in the back one very well. So, oh, you can't. If it'd be thumb B, you can. So anyway, I might try them. I said I can always. I think we've got the same in green in the motorhome. I thought if I don't use them here, I'll just use them in the motorhome. Because I use one of them. I think it's oh, that was from how probably is from Howard Storage actually because we bought stuff at the motorhome from there. But they're a green bin. I've got there, and the grey would go nicer. And the last thing I haven't had a chance to have a look at yet was um some stickers and stuff that I got. They're pretty. I got for my bullet journal. My tabs. I might have got and that must have been for um my diary, my travel diary. Of course I had to get a little flamingo. So that was actually these might have been more for I don't know what they're for. Who knows? They're cute though. <laughs> Trying to bite too much. Thanks. Yes. So here's dinner. So that's mine and Kevin's got some avocado on his as well. I tried to give him less beans because he's going to complain about the beans, but he needs to eat some. Don't like beans. 